Hey guys, I'm Michael. As you know, I'm currently experimenting a lot with Amazon Sponsor products and I've got new findings to share with you. Before we jump into the data, just one remark. We are going to compare search engine data to Amazon data. And as always, when you compare two things, one thing will look more favorable than the other. However, our goal is not to determine some kind of general winner. Our goal is to identify opportunities. As a seller and as a brand owner in particular, you want to create as much attention as possible internally via Amazon or externally via Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google, Bing or anywhere else. The challenge is to generate that attention as efficiently as possible. And that's what we are trying to achieve. Okay. And now let's jump into the data. This first chart compares Zea CPCs to Amazon CPCs. Zea stands for search engine advertisement. We have calculated a keyword set and collected Zea and Amazon CPC data. The bar chart displays the price difference between the Zea and the Amazon CPC. So there is a positive number whenever the Zea CPC is larger than the Amazon CPC. The horizontal axis displays the number of impressions in decreasing order. So the fat head with a lot of impressions is on the left and the long tail with fewer impressions per keyword is on the right. Our two findings are number one, for this keyword set, the Zia CPCs are on average 23 cents higher. If we assume that our Amazon conversion rate is equal or higher than our search engine conversion rate, then Amazon clicks are more profitable. And the second finding is the price differences are higher for keywords with fewer impressions. So long tail keywords are undervalued in this example, which is highly interesting, I think, because by adding more long tail keywords to your ad account, you can decrease your average customer acquisition cost and thereby increase your profitability. This second chart tells us which percentage of our keyword set generated which percentage of the total number of impressions. To give you an example, the top 10% of the keywords generated 70% of all impressions on Amazon and 95% of all impressions on the search engines. What this chart tells us is that on Amazon, long tail search phrases and long tail keywords are more important because in comparison to fat head keywords, they generate more traffic on Amazon than on search engines. Okay. So let's summarize our findings. The first one is the general price level of Amazon sponsored products is in comparison very attractive. The second one is long tail keywords are even more attractive because they are underpriced right now. And the third finding is long tail keywords are even more important on Amazon because they stand for a higher percentage of the total search volume. So what do you think? Do you have any questions? If so, simply post a comment and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, if you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And if you want YouTube to notify you about new Amazon experiments and new findings, simply subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Yours, Michael.